Hello everyone, myself Akanksha Parida. Here is my channel. You are watching that is Agri Shiksha. And I am going to put light on the topic that is locusts. Here is the image of locust. And we know that locust mainly tropical grasshopper with the strong powers of flight and they differ from ordinary grasshoppers in their ability to change the behavior, gregorize and form swarms that can migrate over large distances. Locusts are mainly seen during the months of June and July as the insects are active from summer to the rainy season. They have high capacity to multiply and form the groups, the swarms and migrates over relatively large distances and they can fly up to 150 km per day. If there is good rainfall and ecological conditions, then they can reproduce rapidly and increase some 20 folds in 3 months. Vestation Destruction As we know that locusts destroy all the fodder and crops that come in their way. The locust can eat their own weight every day, that is about 2 grams of fresh vegetation per day. A very small swarm eats as much as about 35,000 people posing a devastating threat to the crops and food security. If infestations are not detected and controlled, devastating plagues can develop that often take several years and hundreds of millions of dollars to bring under control with severe consequences on food security and livelihoods here are the four species of locust desert locust migratory locust bombay locust and tree locust desert locust the scientific name is schistocerca gregaria migratory locust that is the locusta Migratoria, Bombay Logist, Nomada, Chris, and Sukinta tree locust is Anacridium species. Locust control measures include uh, destroying the egg masses led by invading swarms, digging the trenches. In that the trenches, uh, that contains the water and kerosene, using insecticidal baits and applying insecticides to both the swarms and the breeding grounds from aircrafts. Locusts are very much uh, destructive to the agriculture sector. To control locust invasion, uh, we can spray neem seed decoction over the plants as it is a strong repellent and also a good fertilizer. Desert locust A solitary desert locust flies uh, mostly at uh, night and uh, the gregarious adults fly during the daytime. And the desert locust belong to the family Acrididae family and they are found across Africa, Middle East, South and Southwest Tunisia. FAO that is Food and Agriculture Organization provides information on the general locust situation to the global community and gives timely warnings and forecasts to those countries in danger or of invasion. The FAO raised alarm over the locust outbreak in Northeast Africa and Saudi Arabia in February, 19, uh, February 2019. Locust Warning Organization, that is LWO, is in Jodhpur handling 13 to 16 swarms of locusts in Jaisalmer and Barmerdis of Rajasthan and uh, they're currently using a pesticide named malathion the last major outbreak that was reported in rajasthan in the year 1993 lw it has the central headquarters at faridabad and field headquarters at jadodpur and they have 10 circle offices under it, that is Barber, Jasalmir, Bikanir, Palanpur, Nagar, Jalor, Bhuj, Balodi, and Suratgarh, and Churu.
LWO, Directorate of Plant Protection Quarantine and Storage, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, the responsible for the monitoring and survey and control of the desert locust. In Scheduled Desert Area DSA, mainly in the states of Rajasthan and Gujarat, and incursion of exotic locust swarms into India is prevented through organization of suitable control operation. LWO keeps itself abreast with the prevailing locust situation at national and international level through monthly desert locust bulletins of FAO. The main objectives of LWO first is to monitor and control the locust in scheduled desert area, being international obligation and commitment. Second is LWO conduct research on locusts and grasshoppers. Third, the human, rose, uh, human resource development through training and demonstration for staff of LWO state officials, BSF personnel, and farmers. Fourth is to maintain control potential to combat locust emergency by organizing locust control campaign. Here is the map, international map. Here you can see the swarms from Ethiopia, Somalia, went to Yemen and then Saudi Arab, then Oman, Iran and Afghanistan, then from Pakistan to invasion in India through Rajasthan. In 19th century, India experienced serious locust outbreaks in 1812, 1821, 1843, 1863, 1869, 1878, 1889, and 1896 97. Several efforts were made to combat these swarms. The first of these measures was to systematically collect and record the data regarding locust occurrence. Here is the images, the recent images of the swarm of locust. As we know that birds, there are many birds, they, are, they feed on insects, locusts and grasshoppers and they reduce their population. There is a bird named black drongo that feeds on locusts and grasshoppers and they can eat 150 insects per hour. So they can reduce the population of locusts and grasshopper by feeding on them. There are some other birds like storks, that is white-bellied, Ademia abademi, and European bird that is the Seconia alba. One more is a Pretin coal, as a black-winged bird that feeds on locusts. Here are some more pictures of locusts feeding birds. Uh, the first one here is a lilac roller bird that is eating locusts. Sparrow is there and some other birds are there. We have to just save the birds. Don't uh, lock them in the cage because it reduces their lifespan. And uh, as they control the population of locusts and other harmful insects, so we have to save the birds. Now, thanks for watching.